Let's start at the very beginning. Okay. Why? Well, we did it because we had to. The model for flight training is so broken with $340,000 trainers on the market that we, we felt that a, a lower cost alternative with lower cost of operation was going to be absolutely necessary to make these training models work. There isn't a, a flight school on the planet that can outfit their flight school with new airplanes and make it work financially. So that's what the Red Hawk project was about. Okay, you're early on into this project. It's, you've only been flying the bird for a few weeks. What are you learning so far? Building our first one was a big learning experience for us, and we're building units two, three, and four now, which are gonna go into service at the Skyport Laboratory in San Marcos, Texas, right after Oshkosh. So we're gonna learn an awful lot about fuel burn and operating costs and our experience with maintenance and all of those other things. So this is really the basis of the experiment that we're going to run over the next three or four months and then release the data when we get to migration. So end of October. Yeah. Tease us with the initial numbers on Red Hawk. The most accurate one I can give you is the experience we had flying it from San Marcos, Texas up to Oshkosh here. At 113 knots we were burning about 4.9 gallons per hour which was great. At Jet A prices. And Jet A prices, yeah. That's the most outstanding number we've had. Uh, you know, just from a personal standpoint, having this airplane as an extension in terms of flight training, all of the individual pieces have to be right in order to make this entire process work. So we spent our early years working on simulation, and the last few years has been spent on uh, curriculums and how you use these tools effectively. And this is just another one of those tools. So uh, I think that uh, being able to train primary students in a simplified aircraft like this one is. One of the things I like the best about this airplane is how quiet it is. That was the biggest surprise for me when the first time they started the engine up and I could stand right here where I am with you and hold a conversation. It's just a, a remarkable engine. You know, it's a remarkable platform. How do you like the diesel? It's great. I think we're gonna actually going to get ourselves into a situation where we can actually make this work economically for any kind of school. And we've got some very good partners on this project. We were not the only company involved in this. It was Continental Engine and Bendix King, Brown Leasing, Aspen, and Star Aviation. Really good brands, really good companies all coming together to try to create this platform. So it was very exciting you know, to have these companies come together. Jerry, thank you very much. We're looking forward to seeing you throughout the show this year, and more important than anything else, keep innovating. Well, thank you. Nice to see you again. Aero TV is brought to you by... Aspen offers the most flexible and affordable certified synthetic vision available. Evolution Synthetic Vision is now here. Customizable display layouts enhance the data you need for each phase of flight. Built-in terrain warning system combines terrain and flight path marker coloring, caution and warning text, and an audio warning signal to alert you when terrain or obstacle hazards conflict with your flight path. Aspen Avionics, a new way to look at avionics. <laughs> 